U.S. Admiral says China are launching daily cyber attacks. Chinese military hackers are conducting cyber attacks on the Pentagon's missile defense agency networks on a daily basis and will soon shift to hacking into networks of missile defense contractors, the admiral in charge of the agency told Congress on Thursday. Vice ADM, James D. Sering, the MDA chief who is in charge of building multi-billion dollar anti-missile defenses, told a House hearing that while his networks are successfully fighting off the cyber attacks, missile defense contractors need to improve their network security. The three-star admiral said the threat of Chinese cyber attacks was equal to North Korean and Iranian missile threats. I view the cyber threat that I specifically face with MDA and the systems we are fielding on par with any ballistic missile threat that either Iran or North Korea possess, Sering said. Asked by Representative Mike Rogers, the chairman of the House Armed Services Subcommittee on Strategic Forces, if he is fighting off cyber attacks from Chinese military hackers, Sering answered, yes, sir. He limited his comments and said he would provide details of the cyber threats during a later closed-door session of the subcommittee. We have taken inordinate steps to protect both our classified and unclassified networks from attack, with constant 24-7 monitoring with teams in place plus good material protections of those systems, he said. My biggest concern remains in our clear defense contractor base and their protections, Sering added, noting that Chinese efforts to break into missile defense networks are relentless. They are continuing to try and attack my government networks every day, classified and unclassified, he said. But where they're going next and we've gotten examples of this is to my clear defense contractors with the unclassified controlled technical information. Bolstering the network security of contractors is a high priority across the entire ballistic missile defense system, he said. Foreign states are seeking to penetrate missile defenses and other weapon systems to steal technology and data for use in their own weapons. They also seek to disrupt or destroy the systems in the event of a crisis or conflict. A report by the Defense Science Board warned in 2013 that critical U.S. weapons and other military systems are vulnerable to cyber attack. The United States cannot be confident that our critical information technology IT, systems will work under attack from a sophisticated and well-resourced opponent utilizing cyber capabilities in combination with all of their military and intelligence capabilities at full-spectrum adversary. The report concluded. Sering said in prepared testimony his agency is deploying upgraded command and control systems with better security against cyber attacks. Missile defense personnel also are being trained to prevent cyber intrusions. We know that malicious cyber actors are constantly attempting to exfiltrate information from U.S. industry, Sering stated. We will continue to work with the defense industrial base, the FBI, and other partners to identify these issues and raise the costs of this behavior to those responsible in coordination with national authorities and in accordance with national policy. Sering said a key objective is heartening U.S. missiles defenses for future conflicts, which will likely involve cyber attacks against its networks. We must build resilient cyber defenses that are capable of detecting and mitigating threats without impeding operations in order to fight through the cyber threat, he said. Two exercises simulating cyber attacks on missile defense networks were held last year. Another exercise is set for next month to prevent cyber attacks through equipment and parts. MDA is tightening the security of its suppliers. We also have a rigorous cyber and supply chain risk management inspection program to examine everything about our systems, from the truck to supply chain to the field and operational ability, Sering said. Chinese agents were detected spying on the U.S. missile defense interceptor base at Fort Greeley, Alaska, several years ago, according to defense officials. Barry Pike, executive officer for the U.S. Army's Missiles and Space Program, said during the House hearing that foreign military threats are growing with the emergence of synchronized air, missile, cyber, and electronic warfare attacks. Across all Army air and missile defense programs, we are improving our resilience and ability to mitigate cyber and electronic warfare attacks, he stated in prepared testimony. Rogers, the subcommittee chairman, said in opening remarks at the hearing that after eight years of President Obama's administration, our nation's security Security is in more jeopardy than any time in recent memory. North Korea, Iran, Pakistan, Russia and China are all advancing their ballistic and cruise missile programs, along with weapons of mass destruction programs, 
used to put our military, our allies, and our homeland at risk, Rogers said. At the same time, President Obama has cut missile defense practically every year he's been in office. He added, America's enemies know an opportunity when they see one, our allies see they are on their own. Disclosure of the Chinese hacking against missile defenses comes as Sering and other military leaders revealed the Pentagon is working on its own cyber weapons that could be used to disable or destroy missiles prior to launch. Details about what the Pentagon calls left of launch measures remain classified but are said to include cyber attacks and other electronic warfare measures against missile launch controls and other information systems. Pre-launch cyber attacks against missiles are designed to bolster other missile defenses, including lasers and anti-missile interceptors that can attack enemy missiles in the early, middle and late stages of flight while decreasing costs. China is developing both missile defenses and anti-satellite missiles that employ similar technologies and are known to be targeting U.S. and allied computer networks to steal technical information useful in developing its weapons. China also has targeted U.S. and foreign suppliers that provide equipment and material used in missile defenses. A briefing in 2014 by Joyce Carell, a senior U.S. counterintelligence official, identified numerous pathways used by foreign states to penetrate the U.S. supply chain. We have more than enough evidence to know the threat is real and dangerous, but we will inevitably have difficulty predicting targets and assessing impacts, she stated in a briefing slide. The Pentagon is developing cyber and other electronic weapons to attack enemy missile systems prior to launch as part of a new high-technology defense initiative, senior Pentagon officials disclosed to Congress on Wednesday. The use of non-kinetic attacks against missile system computers, the sensors, and other networks, along with other high-technology means to knock out missiles on the ground, is called left-of-launch defense, a reference to the location on a timeline of the process of shooting down missiles. Few details were provided on the plans for non-kinetic missile defenses that Brian McKeon, the principal defense undersecretary for policy, said were underway as a result of a new security environment that includes plans to use large salvo missile attacks and other means to defeat current missile defense. Left of launch missile defense was raised in a 2014 memorandum from then Chief of Naval Operations Jonathan Greenett and then Army Chief of Staff Ray Odierno to the Secretary of Defense warning the missile defense spending was unsustainable because of sharp defense cuts. They called for the more cost-effective left-of-launch strategy. Defense officials familiar with the research said the new non-kinetic missile defenses include the planned use of cyber attacks and other electronic warfare means, such as electromagnetic pulse attacks against foreign command and control systems. An electromagnetic pulse is the force emitted from a nuclear blast that can disrupt all electronics over wide areas. The weaponization of electromagnetic pulses has been under research for years. The weapons would be used after intelligence intelligence indicators revealed a foreign adversary was planning a missile attack. The cyber and electronic attacks would aim to prevent missiles from being launched by disrupting or disabling launch controls or sending malicious commands that would cause them to blow up on their launches. Northern Command Commander at DM, William Gortney said in prepared testimony that current missile defense were designed to intercept missiles after launch. They include ground-based interceptors, mobile regional defenses, and ship-based anti-missile systems. We need to augment our defensive posture with one that is designed to defeat ballistic missile threats in the boost phase as well as before they are launched, known as left of launch, Gortney told a hearing of the Senate Armed Services Subcommittee on Strategic Forces. High-powered lasers are being developed that will be deployed on drones or aircraft to hit missiles in the so-called boost phase just after launch. The development of non-kinetic technologies such as directed energy and new concepts of operation such as boost phase intercept and left-of-launch missile defense are game-changing and would have a dramatic effect on the need to rely exclusively on expensive interceptors, said Vice ADM. James D. Sering, director of the Pentagon's Missile Defense Agency, both defense contractors and government weapons designers are using emerging technology for non-kinetic methods to defeat ballistic missile threats when we receive indications that a launch is imminent, Courtney said in the prepared statement. I believe this technology will reduce the overall cost of engagement-based missile defense and provide us options to defeat ballistic missiles that continue to proliferate around the world, Courtney said. Asked if current missile defense strategies are unsustainable, Courtney testified at the hearing that he agreed with the two service chiefs in 2014.
Queen. Because of our current strategy we are wearing our Patriots, soon to be THAAD, and our Aegis capable platforms that are in high demand the threat is increasing and we're on an unaffordable path, Gortney said, noting that missile defenses use very expensive rockets to shoot down maybe not so expensive rockets. As a result, there are plans to shift to more cost-effective countermeasures such as airborne lasers and other means to attack missiles before launch or early in the launch phase of flight, he said. The use of advanced technology and innovative uses of current weapons is part of a new Pentagon strategy called the Third Offset that seeks to leverage asymmetric warfare techniques. The first two offsets were the use of nuclear deterrence against conventional forces in the Cold War and later the development of precision-guided conventional weapons and radar evading stealth technology in the 1980s and 1990s. The hearing was held to discuss the $7.5 billion budget request for missile defenses for fiscal 2017. The U.S. military Sunday hailed the success of a complex $230 million test of the U.S. missile system that it said showed the ability of the Aegis and THAAD weapon systems to identify and destroy ballistic and cruise missiles at once. The test was conducted near Wake Island in the Western Pacific Ocean around 11.05 p.m. Eastern by the U.S. Missile Defense Agency, U.S. European Command, U.S. Pacific Command, the Ballistic Missile Defense System Operational Test Agency, and the Joint Functional Components Command for Integrated Missile Defense.